Hello, I'm Dina Knudsen of the UW-Madison Department of Horticulture Nutrient and Pest Management Program. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Wisconsin Healthy Grown Program, which is an example of a high bar IPM adaptation and implementation program. Today I'm going to give you some background about the program, talk about the actual standard, and then talk about how the program is actually implemented and some of the advancements that have been made. The program actually started in 1996 as a collaboration with the Wisconsin Potato and Vegetable Growers Association, the World Wildlife Fund, and the University of Wisconsin to develop a Wisconsin eco-potato project. It established five goals at that time to look at bio-IPM uh, production and reduce pesticide toxicity within the system, looking at ecosystem restoration alternatives and advances on farm, informing public policy for this type of growing uh, production systems, actually documenting and measuring changes that occur on the ground within the production system, and then looking for some sort of market-based incentives to advance this kind of system. And really this was an idea to, to, to have the growers at the table setting the stage to start doing the right thing. They're already doing the right thing, but how do we move them up to the next level and keep advancing? The idea of the program is to take a holistic approach to the potato production system, looking at all the way from the seed production to the growing conditions, all the way until you get to your, your table, uh, the, the field to fork type approach. And using a, a plethora of, of biologically advanced practices to enhance the ecologically grown potatoes from disease forecasting, plant resistance, scouting, whatever it might be, some ecological based production to move it along the system. Overall, the idea was to take the industry, some that would be more on the lower IPM adoption level uh, to the higher level and move the whole industry along so that the lower end is moving up, but also the higher end is moving up and accelerating bio IPM adoption all across the system. And we have been able to show how to do that within the Healthy Grown program. The Healthy Grown program in general has been based on some guiding principles that are run is running on from the beginning till today. That is that the, it is grower driven, growers at the table in all aspects to help innovate, drive the research and look at alternatives for developing more ecologically grown production systems. The practices are research based and they're developed out of the University of Wisconsin uh, research team and the system and all of these, these practices have been shown to be environmentally sound, ecologically uh, safe and profitable back to the growers. We have developed a set of ecosystem friendly practices and we'll talk about that with the label a little bit, but there's minimal requirements plus some innovation and advancements that the growers are trying to do. There are pesticide risk limits as well as prohibited uses to ensure that we're using the lower risk materials in the proper manner. There's an independent certification program to ensure credibility uh, to the system and bring validation to the program. And as we've mentioned before, some type of economic return to growers, this market-based incentive, which is the idea of healthy grown sales into the marketplace. Next, we're going to talk about the label and how the program has advanced from there.